My name is Jody Ull and I'm here today at Splash of Color to kick off our first of several upcoming mini lessons and tips on how to use our products. Today we're going to introduce you to Twinkling H2O's. Twinkling H2O's are hands down the most luscious watercolors I have ever used. And as you can see they come in a cake like form. Which before you use you have to activate with water. And what makes Twinkling H2O's special, one of the things that makes them special, is the fact that they are highly pigmented and infused with mica flakes, which give you a nice slight glimmer, a shine but not over glittery. They dry to a satin-like sheen and mix well with one, of other, um, one another colors. So, first things first, in order to get started today, you'll need your uh, paints, of course, a spray bottle of water, some watercolor paper, some sort of palette, and today I'm using one of our foam palettes, um, which are perfect because the twinks can kind of nestle right into the little holes that are provided. And um, if you don't have one of these, palette paper is good to use as well. And um, the next thing you'll need to do um, once you get to get started is to spray a generous amount of water on each of the cakes that you'll be using for your project. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of water on each of the cakes. And I probably won't use all these colors, but there are so many luscious colors, it's hard just to choose one or two. And they're, the cakes themselves aren't huge, but I'll tell you what, the colors go a long, long way. So you don't even really need a whole lot of color for your projects, and I'll show you that just in a minute um, for it to be very uh, vibrant. All right, so then you need to let the water do its work. So you're going to need to let it sit for um, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Um, and that water will activate the paints, and you'll, you'll, um, they'll start to have a nice creamy consistency. Now, if you're not very patient and don't have time to wait, now you certainly can use them um, ahead of time. It's just that you're not going to have as brilliant of a color value. So let's just do a little bit of experiment, and we'll go ahead and use these, or a couple colors, and we'll just kind of test it out to see what the difference is from letting it sit and activate or using it right away. So I'm just taking um, the color and painting along a black line just so you can see how clear it is. And let me get the paper towel here. And that color, just so you know, is, um, is Mystique. I'm just going to do a couple just so you can see the difference of letting them wait or using them right off of the out of the gates. This is one of my favorite colors. This is uh, Jasmine. And you can see they're still, even right out of the gates, they're still very vibrant. But the magic happens after you let it sit for a little bit. So I'm going to come back in just a second, let it let the water do its work, and then we'll see the difference. Okay, so I waited about five minutes, and um, the cake is starting to um, liquefy, and you can see how nice and juicy the color is. And it's not totally, totally creamy just yet, but 
I think it's good enough where we can use that. So um, I mentioned before, um, the longer you wait to activate, the more intense the color it's going to be. Now there's a certain point where you can let it go too long and it'll dry back up, but I'm just going to test it out and see how different the look is. And I'll show this to the camera here. You can see, once you let it activate a longer period of time, how intense the color is. So this was just pretty much right out of the gates, and this is waiting about five minutes. So this can be very important to you as you uh, play around with the colors because you know you may want a different value. Um, and the more diluted your paint is, or the less time you wait, the, the lighter the color is going to be, and vice versa. So the longer you wait, the more active or the more darker the color will be. I also mentioned you can also mix the pigments. So let's just go ahead and try and see what that looks like. I'm putting this on my palette here, the um, Mystique and clean off my brush. I'll take a little bit of the jasmine. This is a big cake, so I actually probably should have put more water on here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color. And we're obviously, we're probably going to get a purple look here. Or actually, it's kind of a bluish purple. I add a little bit more pink to it. And so that's kind of fun, um, you know, especially if you don't have a whole lot of colors, you know, learning to mix your own, come up with your own special formula. And I do recommend, um, if you decide to do this, to kind of write down what um, colors you're mixing together because if you want to go back to a project and use a similar color, you're going to want to know what you did in the first place. Now I also mentioned that you can dilute the color a little bit, you know, add a little bit of water, more water to it. So taking that same um, color mixture that I just used, if you want to make it more um, a lighter color, just add a little bit of water and your value is going to change. Now when you are um, done playing with your colors, uh, the next thing you need to do is to let them dry um, completely because if you put the caps back on, um, before they're completely dry, they may have a tendency to stick. So the best thing to do, um, one of the things I like to do, um, let me find it here, putting my stuff away, or um, I'll just put these back into the pan, set up, way, uh, set up on a shelf and let it dry, and clean off my palette, obviously, and then I can put the caps back on after they're fully dry. So go ahead and um, Play with your paints and see how they look and test them out. They can be used on a variety of products. I also mentioned if you don't have a, um, a palette like this, you can use palette paper, which is nice. And palette paper is um, kind of a very slick surface. It's nice to kind of test out your colors with um, mix them, mix up your own special color, as I mentioned before. Let's try a little bit of blue in here, get a nice blue green. You see how easily that mixes on the palette paper. Likewise, um, the little wells in here are, are very similar, so you can mix up your own special colors. Um, the Twinkling H2Os are great for journaling, doodling, card making, tags, even larger scale paintings. Um, so now go out and try them yourself and have fun. We love to see your work, so be sure to share what you've done on our Splash of Color Facebook page. Join us if you haven't already. And um, if you'd like to learn more about this product or other products that we offer, be sure to check it back for more quick and easy video tips or for a more in-depth lesson, join one of our many online classes. Once again, my name is Jody Ohl, and thank you for joining us today at Splash of Color.